the animal kingdom. A remarkable collection of living, breathing natural wonders. Enthralling. Impressive. Tenacious. And nurturing. Innovative. Tough. Surprising. Always genuine. Discover their past, present, and future. Just breathtaking. Just intriguing. Just tremendous. Just animals. Wildcats. Sleek. Graceful. And built for speed. This exceptional talent earns cheetahs the esteemed title of fastest land animal on Earth. Their speed and agility makes them stand out hunters amongst all carnivores. These open plain and savanna specialists are extraordinary members of the cat family, which is made up of around 38 species. Each special in their own way. From the high altitude ghosts of the mountain to alert prowlers slinking across arid lands. Plus, nimble tree dwellers and masters of the snow. Some wildcats are so rare and elusive, the only signs of their existence are the prints they leave behind. An enticing clue that beckons all to explore the realm of wild felines. One glimpse is all it takes to appreciate the stunning coats of wild cats. A cat's fur is one feature that signifies they are mammals. Others are the presence of a spine, the ability to regulate their own body heat, plus mammary glands that produce milk to feed their young. All cats are carnivores, or meat eaters, and this puts them in the order Carnivora. Other characteristics common to this clade are claws for catching prey. Large canine teeth for ripping and tearing, and carnassial, or cutting teeth, used to shear meat. As part of the Felidae family, most cats have protractile claws that extend out of their paws when needed. The claws on a cheetah are, however, different. Theirs are permanently semi-protracted and cannot be fully sheathed, more like those on dogs. Like natural running spikes, they give cheetahs better grip on the ground when chasing prey. These unique claws land them in their own genus, Asynonyx, which means no-move claw in Greek. The 
name cheetah is derived from the Hindi word meaning spotted one. Cheetahs have striking and unique tear lines that run down their faces. These markings reflect the sun's glare, critical for these diurnal or daytime hunters. Although large in size, cheetahs do not belong to the big cat elite. That includes lions, tigers, jaguars, and leopards. What sets these famed heavyweights apart is their ability to roar. This is made possible by special physical adaptations in their throats and voice boxes. Features that cheetahs and other wildcats lack. As a group, felids or felines are known for their aggression, stealthiness, and for having acute senses. Many of them own the night. These mostly solitary creatures lead secretive lives in a wide variety of habitats, all prospering under the radar. Wildcats are a diverse group, found on every continent except Antarctica. While Australia has no native felines, it does host feral cats. The Felidae family is broken down into two subfamilies. The Panthera lineage that houses the roaring big cats, and the subfamily Felinae, that includes the other seven lineages of cats. Firstly, the cheetah. It belongs to the puma lineage. There are five recognized species, found mainly in Africa, with a small, critically endangered population in Iran. Cheetahs are large cats, but due to their slender build, they only weigh between 35 and 65 kilograms. To put that in perspective, the average lion weighs three to five times that. There is one variety of cheetah that has a uniquely patterned coat. They're known as king cheetahs. Instead of the usual small black spots, theirs run together. Plus, they have a few black stripes running down their entire back. This unusual coat pattern is the result of a genetic mutation, as is their cream-colored fur. Another member of the Puma line is the Jaguarundi. From the Americas, they range from Texas to Argentina. Jaguarundis have short legs and long bodies that measure about 76 centimeters. Another close relative of the cheetah is the puma, which lends its name to this lineage of cats. Out of the entire Felinae subfamily, Pumas are the largest. Males can weigh up to 90 kilograms. Often referred to as the cat of many names, they have over 40 in English alone. The most common being mountain lion, cougar, and panther. To call this type of creature a black panther 
is actually a misnomer. These enigmatic big cats are not pumas, but melanistic leopards or jaguars. This means they have increased amounts of dark pigmentation, or melanin, in their skin or fur. The opposite of albinism. Perhaps the name panther is applied to them because they're members of the panthera subfamily, as are snow leopards and clouded leopards. While neither can roar, they are leopards, placing them in the big cat classification. The rare snow leopard roams over vast areas in the high rugged mountains of Central Asia. Its cousin, the clouded leopard, is found at lower altitudes, in the foothills of the Himalayas, plus parts of Southeast Asia. Clouded leopards have the longest tail in relation to body size of all wild cats. In contrast, cats in the lynx lineage are mostly ground-dwelling and have little use for tails. Theirs are distinctly short. All four species of lynx are distinguished by the tufts of black hair on the tips of their ears. They prowl the forests of Europe, Asia, and North America. The name of this lynx, the bobcat, directly relates to their stubby tail. At just 15 centimeters in length, this small appendage appears bobbed or cut short. The leopard cat lineage boasts the world's smallest feline, the nocturnal rusty spotted cat. Native to the deciduous forests of India and Sri Lanka, it weighs about one and a half kilos. It's renowned for catching its prey with rapid darting movements. This line also includes the fluffiest of the wildcat ensemble, the palace cat of Central Asia. Their short ears and fluffy faces give them a perpetually annoyed look. They are the original grumpy cat. Another lineage found in Asia are the bay cats. A small group of rare species, such as the marbled and Asiatic golden cat. Africa is home to the caracal lineage. Two examples of these mid-sized cats are the namesake caracal and the serval. The smaller, spotty members of the ocelot lineage hail from Latin America. Apart from ocelots, this group also includes the rare marge and cod cod. Finally, the felis lineage. Members include the rare sand cat from Northern Africa and Southern Asia the European wildcat, the jungle cat of Asia, plus the countless breeds of domestic cats. As for feral cats, although wild in nature, they are the descendants of escaped house cats. Watching our furry companions, both in real life and online, is a phenomenal obsession. Astonishing, yet understandable, due to their irresistible antics. As for their countless wild relatives, they are equally enthralling.
wildcats exhibit a multitude of adaptations and special skills that allow them to be masters of their chosen domains. Speed is at the top of a cheetah's list. The fastest of all terrestrial animals, their maximum speed is about 110 kilometers an hour. These sprinters can also rapidly accelerate, going from zero to 100 in three seconds. Cheetahs have evolved to run flat out to enable them to hunt during the day. Out in the open, on prey that is also lightning fast. They're not just swift on the straight. These cats can also execute sudden turns at high speeds. These tricky maneuvers are aided by their long, heavy tails that act as rudders, giving them better balance. When chasing a meal, luck sometimes plays a role. Tripping over can prove fatal for a prey animal. A cheetah's exhilarating speed is made possible by their small aerodynamic bodies and lightweight skeletons. Their zippy capabilities are enhanced by long leg and foot bones. A cheetah's speedy ways do come at a price. By reducing the size of their skull and muzzle, they have relatively weak jaws and smaller fangs as a kind of trade-off. As fast as they are, cheetahs are not the most talented climbers. They occasionally use low-lying horizontal branches as vantage points. But their paw structure is designed for running not vertical climbing. In contrast, wildcats such as lynxes are adept at scaling up and down trunks, using their powerful legs and claws. Others, such as the clouded leopard, are champion jumpers. Wherever they live, cats have needed to adapt to their chosen environment. Cheetahs mostly inhabit dry savannas and grasslands. They can even be found in deserts. In response, they can endure long periods without drinking, up to 10 days getting sufficient moisture from the body fluids of their prey. Other wildcats thrive in cold climates. Lynxes haunt the planet's northern forests. And in winter, these regions become bitterly cold. Thick coats keep these cats warm. Their large, furry paws and spread out toes give them natural snowshoes. A cat's senses not only help them detect prey, but also danger. While they are predators, other carnivores can target wildcats.
juveniles, being especially vulnerable. No matter where an animal sits in the food chain, life is challenging. Each type of wildcat uses their well-honed skills and adaptations to ensure their ongoing success. Felines have a long history. Their last common ancestor lived in Asia around 20 to 9 million years ago. From this ancient species sprang eight lineages of closely related cats. The big, roaring cats are the oldest in the cat family, emerging almost 11 million years ago. Cheetahs of the puma lineage started to appear about six million years ago in North America. From there, they spread. Fossil evidence of the giant cheetah from Eurasia shows these ancient beasts were similar in height to a lion and twice the size of present-day cheetahs. Due to the larger build and long legs seen in these two million year old fossils, these hefty creatures are seen as having an intermediate body design between the slower big cats and modern swift moving cheetahs. Perhaps the most famous prehistoric cat like mammal is the saber toothed tiger. Although not really a tiger, these saber-toothed cats, along with modern cats, share ancestral heritage with other feliforms, which include hyenas, mongooses, palm civets, genets, and Malagasy carnivorans. As to the origins of these beloved companions, it is thought the first feline to be domesticated was the African wildcat about 10,000 years ago. The result of that action? Dozens of breeds of furry friends that share both our homes and our lives. Wildcats may be an assorted mix of felines, but they do share some common behaviours. Apart from lion prides, most cats live solitary lives. With cheetahs, females usually go solo, unless they are rearing young or mating. They have large home ranges of over 950 square kilometers that often overlap with other females. That's an area similar in size to Berlin. In contrast, males have smaller territories. They form coalitions small, tightly bonded alliances to actively defend their lands. A coalition can last a lifetime. These bands are often brotherhoods, a few littermates that have stayed together. Occasionally, outsiders are welcomed. Within these coalitions, the members are not territorial with each other. But they do fight other males. Sometimes these battles are deadly, causing an imbalance within the cheetah population, with just one male 
for every two females. A less violent and risky way to establish and maintain territories is via scent marking. Urinating and scratching the ground and trees mark their presence. Cheek rubbing also leaves their scent behind. Excreted urine and saliva both contain chemical information about individuals, helping them to avoid each other. Vocalizations are another important form of communication for cheetahs. Cheetahs can purr, yelp, bark, and chirp. Chirping is a distinct cheetah vocalization. Females can chirp to attract a mate or call their young. Coalition males can use it when reuniting. It can also act as a distress call. Wildcats are known for their stealthy behavior. A common feature that helps them elude prey is their coat of natural camouflage. Adult cheetahs can effectively blend in with their surrounding thanks to their tawny colored fur. Their famous spots mimic shadows and break up the outline of their bodies. Cheetah cubs are born with a bonus accessory, a smoky gray mantle, a patch of long back fur that is thought to conceal them in long dry grasses. The caracal has no spots or stripes, but is also a grassland's master of disguise. Widely distributed across Africa, the Middle East, Central Asia and India, these cats are famous for their unusual long black ear tufts. Their function? One theory is to break up the outline of their head. Another is they twitch them to communicate with other caracals. No matter what type of wildcat, mothers are not shy about displaying affection. This close contact often includes grooming. Cats are fastidious about keeping clean making this type of behavior a common sight. From good hygiene to sly hunting strategies, plus unique communication techniques and unusual social habits, Wildcats display a captivating range of behaviors. No matter how eye-catching a wild feline is, they will always be eclipsed by their young. After about 90 days gestation, mother cheetahs deliver litters of three to five cubs, each weighing under a kilogram. The babies are nursed for six to eight weeks. During this early stage, 
A cheetah mother has to leave her cubs alone for long periods to hunt. Not only to satisfy her hunger, but to keep up her milk supply. This is when the youngsters' lives are most fraught with danger. Sadly, the survival rate of cheetah cubs is low, about 10%. Their homes are also home to ferocious predators, such as hyenas, lions, and the martial eagle, the leopard of the air. Nicknamed for its spotty underside, it's one of the most powerful and fierce avian predators in the world. Cheetah cubs can also face threats from their own kind. Although males sometimes show aggression towards a mother and her litter, they don't intentionally kill the youngsters. This is unusual amongst felids. Other male cats, such as lions, will eliminate cubs fathered by another male so that they can mate with the mother. For the cheetah cubs that make it, siblings start to play fight with one another and their mum at about five months of age. These frisky skirmishes sharpen their stalking chasing and wrestling skills. At this time, the mother is hunting for the whole family, but soon she will bring them live prey to practice on. By their second birthday, the juveniles will leave their mother. They may stay together as a sibling group for several more months. After this stage, young females strike out on their own, leaving their brothers to possibly form a coalition. The average cheetah enjoys a lifespan of about eight years. While the babies of large wild cats are called cubs, the offspring of smaller species are known as kittens. Like all newborn cats, Eurasian lynx kittens are defenseless, completely reliant on their mothers for food, warmth and protection. Lynx mums also provide cleaning services and are excellent to play with or on. Sometimes kittens have to be invented to get their mother's attention. In the wild, these playful creatures could enjoy a life that spans about 17 years. In the Americas, puma cubs arrive with spots and stripes to keep them camouflaged. These markings start to fade after three months, disappearing completely by the time the young pumas are a year and a half old. Adults have between 8 and 13 years to explore the wilds. It's a fact that reaching adulthood is a struggle. But cat mothers are dedicated to giving their brood the best possible start to life.
cats are carnivores. But not all carnivores are the same. For example, dogs are facultative carnivores. While they primarily eat meat, they can survive on plant material alone if needed. In contrast, cats are obligate carnivores, meaning they can include non-animal foods in their diet, but they must eat meat to survive and thrive. The whole wildcat group dines on a smorgasbord of fleshy prey, such as large and small mammals and fish. Cheetahs have a preference for big-hooved mammals, ungulates, and in Africa, these mostly live on savannas. A cheetah's hunting style is perfectly adapted to this habitat. Out of the cats, cheetahs are the only cursorial hunters, those that run fast to capture their prey. And to do this, they need wide open spaces. Termite mounds provide excellent surveying platforms. They're not the most elegant or comfortable lookouts, but cheetahs rely on sight rather than smell for hunting. Thompson's gazelles are a favorite meal. Cheetahs stalk to get close to their prey. A distance of around 90 meters brings them to their strike zone. To clutch their prey, they use their protractile claws and elastic wrists. Jaws with a vice-like grip deliver a devastating bite to the throat, suffocating the victim. Most cheetahs hunt alone. Adult male coalitions do hunt together, but not cooperatively like lionesses. While researchers believe being part of a coalition doesn't necessarily increase their overall success rate, it does enable them to tackle larger prey, like wildebeest. A lone cheetah finds itself in peril. The horns and hooves of a wildebeest can be lethal. When they gang up, it's hard work, but eventually they succeed. Cheetahs are versatile hunters. A small mammal will do. A hare is giving this cat the runaround. Choosing to dine on a warthog brings its own set of challenges. These swine put their high intelligence to good use to outsmart cats. Warthogs one, cheetahs zero. These wild pigs are also surprisingly speedy. Warthogs two, cheetahs zero. A topi and her calf seem like vulnerable targets. But a mother's love can never be underestimated. In terms of hunting skills, cheetahs catch their prey around 50% of the time. This is higher than their big cat relatives. Leopards end up with their prizes less than 40% of the time. 
while lions only manage a success rate of around 30%. Once a cheetah has scored a kill, they must be wary of thieves, like hyenas. A single cheetah has no chance of regaining their meal from a hyena clan. It appears cheetahs can climb trees when needed. Of course, there's always the matter of getting down. Meal takeovers are all about numbers. A single hyena is no match for a band of three cats. The surest way to keep a kill is to hunt when marauders are taking a nap. Most cats are nocturnal, hunting under the cloak of darkness. Cheetahs are, however, diurnal hunters, taking on their prey during daylight hours. They're usually active early morning or late afternoon to keep cool as they expend a huge amount of energy during fast-paced hunts. Unlike cheetahs, most wildcats are ambush hunters and use a stalk and pounce method. Amongst wildcats, there are some specialist hunters. Piscivores that primarily eat fish, such as the fishing cat of South and Southeast Asia. Arboreal hunters, like ocelots, target their prey in the trees. From the Americas, ocelots sometimes predate on the ground. But feisty rodents can fight back. Elsewhere, in the Himalayas, a battle between predator and prey unfolds on an epic and vertical scale. On one side are the Markors, capable of scaling near vertical cliffs. They're closely observed by their opponent, the ever patient snow leopard. cat makes its move. Snow leopard hunts are some of the most athletic in the animal kingdom. A remarkable escape. Wild cats are not only efficient predators, but also opportunistic scavengers. Although not necessary to their nutrition, wildcats do eat some plant matter. It's believed that grasses may stimulate muscle activity in their digestive systems to evict parasites. Without a doubt, a cat's survival depends on meat. And they use a range of clever hunting methods to ensure they get their fill. For thousands of years, we've marveled at wildcats for their elegance, hunting prowess, and agility. Cheetahs were considered sacred by the ancient Egyptians, adornments of them being enshrined in tombs and rock temples. Easily tamed, cheetahs were kept as pets and for hunting expeditions by prominent Egyptians. This practice continued through history. 
Akbar the Great, a revered Mughal emperor of India, loved training cheetahs to hunt game so much, he filled his stable with a thousand of them. Cheetahs have always symbolized speed. An embodiment of this talent is the Bill Thomas Cheetah, an American sports car from the 1960s. They are not the only wildcats to be celebrated around the globe. A striking example is Cusco in Peru, that used to be the capital of the Incan Empire, said to be designed in the shape of a puma. The city is laid out in the form of the cat's body, and the fortress of Sacsayhuaman makes up its head. The snow leopard is displayed on many coats of arms of Central Asian countries and cities, and the Tatarstan Republic of Russia. These animals signify bravery, wildness, and fearlessness. As a group, the natural beauty of wildcats has been capturing people's hearts and minds for generations. Their regal allure is undeniable. While globally adored, all wildcats are under excessive human pressures. Their habitats are increasingly being converted into farmland, pasture, and real estate. Cheetah numbers are low. They've disappeared from 90% of their historic range. Recent counts estimate there are fewer than 7,100 left in the wild. The future of cheetahs is precarious. They're faced with challenges from all sides. Within protected reserves, they're heavily predated by big cats and hyenas. This pushes them outside the boundaries of safe areas, where they're bombarded with human threats. These revered cats are struck down by vehicles, hunted for their skins and body parts, and killed out of fear. Cheetahs continue to be captured for the exotic pet trade. Another problem is a low supply of food. Their prey are also suffering declines, leaving cheetahs less to eat. Low cheetah populations result in a lack of genetic diversity, which affects their immune systems, particularly the cubs, reducing numbers further. There is some good news. Conservation efforts are underway. Plus, local vets assist with the care of injured cheetahs. Scientists are radio tracking these cats to discover more about their lives and how best to help them. Even dogs are lending a hand. Kangal shepherds are being used to protect livestock in Namibia, reducing the risk of human cheetah conflicts. Recently, the Indian Supreme Court ruled to allow an experimental reintroduction of cheetahs to India. Time will determine its success. Other threatened wildcats are so understudied, if we want to save them, it's vital we learn more about every aspect of their lives. One success story is the Eurasian lynx. Once on the brink of extinction, intensive conservation efforts have seen their numbers in Europe 
increased tenfold over the past 50 years. They've once again returned to the forests of Germany. Zoos are also playing their part with captive breeding programs and educating the public. As individuals, we can help by leaving these remarkable felines where they belong, in the wild. It is our responsibility to ensure the sun doesn't set on any of the wild cats that roam the planet.